Have you ever wondered if our minds shape the reality we perceive, or if the universe in all its complexity operates according to a grand design? These are questions that have intrigued humanity for centuries, sparking debates and driving our ceaseless quest for understanding. Yet these queries are not modern conundrums. Long before the advent of advanced scientific technology, before the birth of modern philosophy, there were individuals who dared to probe the mysteries of existence, the nature of reality, and the fabric of the cosmos. One such individual was Anaxagoras, a pre-Socratic philosopher born around 500 BCE in Clazomenae Ionia. He was a thinker who ventured beyond the confines of conventional wisdom, exploring ideas that would lay the groundwork for future philosophical inquiries and scientific exploration. Around 500 BCE, a philosopher named Anaxagoras dared to delve into these profound questions. Born in Clazomenae Ionia, Anaxagoras made his mark as a pre-Socratic philosopher. In the early 5th century BCE, a young Anaxagoras was already setting his gaze on the mysteries of the cosmos. His birthplace, Clazomenae, was a vibrant Ionian city, a place where ideas flowed as freely as the waters of the Aegean Sea. But it was Athens, the intellectual hub of ancient Greece that beckoned him. In Athens, Anaxagoras found a city teeming with thought and debate, a place where ideas were currency and philosophy was king. This was a city in its golden age, a city of Pericles, a city where the seeds of democracy were being sown. Amidst this backdrop, Anaxagoras began to develop his philosophical ideas, venturing into realms untouched by his contemporaries. His focus wasn't on the tangible, the elements of earth, water, air, and fire that others of his time might have pondered. Instead, Anaxagoras delved into the abstract, the concept of nous or mind as the primary force governing the cosmos. He proposed that everything in the universe was composed of tiny, infinitely divisible particles, a mix of everything and everything, stirred by the nous. This idea was revolutionary, a leap beyond the elemental philosophy of his peers. But progress and innovation often face resistance. Anaxagoras, with his radical thoughts, was no exception. His ideas clashed with the conservative religious circles in Athens. His philosophical innovations were seen as a threat, a challenge to the established beliefs. Accused of impiety and introducing foreign gods, Anaxagoras found himself at odds with the very city that had nurtured his intellectual growth. Despite his groundbreaking ideas, Anaxagoras faced opposition, criticism, and was eventually forced to leave Athens. His story highlights the challenges faced by early philosophers who dared to question, who dared to think differently. But as we'll see, Anaxagoras' influence extended far beyond his lifetime, leaving a lasting impact on the world of philosophy and beyond. Anaxagoras introduced a revolutionary idea, the concept of nous or mind as the primary force governing the cosmos. Diving into this groundbreaking notion, Anaxagoras posited that everything in the universe, from the grandest galaxy to the smallest grain of sand, was composed of infinitely divisible particles. He referred to these particles as nous matter. Here's where things get interesting. Unlike his contemporaries who were focused on fundamental elements like earth, water, air, and fire, Anaxagoras took a different route. He suggested that these basic components were actually mixed in an array of proportions due to the influence of nous. So, what does this mean? Well, according to Anaxagoras, the nous or mind was the orchestrator of this cosmic symphony. It was the guiding force, the director, the prime mover, call it what you will. It was the nous that determined the proportions of the mix, leading to the diversity and complexity we observe in the world around us. From the lush greenery of a forest to the intricate design of a snowflake, from the majestic roar of a lion to the delicate flutter of a butterfly's wings, Anaxagoras believed that all of these were a result of the nous at work. But his theory didn't just stop at explaining the physical world. No, it went a step further. Anaxagoras suggested that the nous was not just a physical entity, but a spiritual one as well. It was the source of all knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. It was the spark that ignited the flame of consciousness and thought. His emphasis on the role of the mind as the driving force behind cosmic order was a significant departure from earlier philosophical traditions. Gone were the days of attributing natural phenomena to the whims of the gods. Instead, Anaxagoras' ideas set the stage for a more rational and systematic approach to understanding the natural world. His ideas marked a departure from earlier philosophical traditions, paving the way for a more rational approach to understanding the natural world. 
Anaxagoras's influence wasn't confined to philosophy alone, his insights extended to astronomy and biology. His curious mind didn't stop at the mysteries of the cosmos, it delved into the intricate workings of life itself. Anaxagoras's observations of celestial bodies were ahead of his time. He saw the moon not as a deity or a mystical entity, but as a physical body, much like the Earth. He proposed that the moon didn't glow with its own light, rather it reflected the light from the sun, a concept that was revolutionary for that era. He also described the sun as a fiery mass, a stark contrast to the prevalent beliefs of it being a god. These ideas marked the beginnings of a more scientific understanding of the cosmos, a radical shift from the mythological explanations of the past. But his intellectual prowess wasn't limited to the heavens. Anaxagoras ventured into the realm of biology with a similar spirit of inquiry. His thoughts on life's origins were groundbreaking. He suggested that living beings developed from simple seeds, a notion that resonated with the modern understanding of cells as the basic units of life. He even delved into embryology, proposing that every organism starts its life as a tiny seed that gradually grows and develops into a complex being. His approach was a departure from the prevalent philosophical traditions. He didn't rely on divine intervention or supernatural forces to explain natural phenomena. Instead, he proposed rational explanations based on observation and logical reasoning. This approach, the cornerstone of the scientific method, would not become widespread until centuries later. Anaxagoras's ideas were met with opposition, and he faced criticism from conservative circles. But his insights were far too valuable to be suppressed. They sparked a revolution, challenging the status quo and encouraging a more rational understanding of the world. His innovative ideas laid the groundwork for the scientific method that would emerge centuries later. Anaxagoras may have been a philosopher by title, but his spirit was that of a scientist. He dared to question, to explore, and to imagine a universe governed by reason, not myth. His legacy is a testament to the power of the human mind to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. While many of Anaxagoras's works have been lost over time, his impact on Western thought remains significant. Anaxagoras, an innovative thinker of his era, left a profound mark on the development of philosophical and scientific thought. His theories and observations, particularly his emphasis on nous, or mind, as the governing force of the cosmos, challenged the traditional philosophical paradigms and opened up new avenues of inquiry. This Greek philosopher's groundbreaking ideas laid the foundation for a more systematic and rational approach to understanding the world. By positing that every object in the universe was composed of infinitely divisible particles influenced by nous, Anaxagoras moved away from the elemental theories of his contemporaries. This shift in perspective paved the way for the scientific method that would emerge centuries later. Anaxagoras's ideas were not confined to philosophy alone. His observations on celestial bodies and early insights into biology demonstrated a scientific bent of mind. He suggested that the moon reflected the sun's light and that the sun was a fiery body, ideas that hinted at a more scientific understanding of the cosmos. His thoughts on embryology and the development of living beings from simple seeds suggested an early understanding of biological processes. But the journey of this visionary was not without challenges. Anaxagoras's daring theories often clashed with the conservative religious beliefs of his time, leading to accusations of impiety and his subsequent exile from Athens. His experience underscores the trials faced by early philosophers in their quest to challenge prevailing beliefs and explore new ideas. Despite these adversities, Anaxagoras's influence reverberated through the ages, shaping the intellectual evolution of the Western world. His ideas continue to inspire philosophers and scientists, echoing the enduring power of rational inquiry and the human mind's capacity to decipher the mysteries of the universe. Anaxagoras's bold theories remind us of the power of the human mind to probe the mysteries of the universe, shaping the course of philosophical and scientific exploration for centuries to come. Today we've journeyed back in time to explore the life and theories of Anaxagoras. Born in Ionia around 500 BCE, this pre-Socratic philosopher challenged the established norms, offering groundbreaking theories that changed the course of philosophy and science. In his revolutionary theory of nous, Anaxagoras proposed that a higher mind governed the cosmos, and that all things were composed of infinitely divisible particles influenced by this mind. This theory not only marked a departure from the traditional elemental philosophy, but also set the stage for a more systematic approach to understanding our world. 
Beyond philosophy, Anaxagoras's influence extended to astronomy and biology, providing early insights into celestial bodies and the complexity of life. Yet, his path was not without challenges, as his radical ideas led to exile from Athens. In the end, Anaxagoras's story is a testament to the power of thought and the unending human quest to understand the universe.